everybody welcome to the sweat corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you all welcome my name is Orlunda welcome to my channel okay so today we are testing the Revlon new complexion compact one-step compact makeup foundation they look like this i bought these things on sale they usually go for about 225 dollars if you hear people in the background i already apologize now anyway okay so yeah again so revlon has this one this is an upgrade from i think back in the day they used to have like a black one key that used to come with like a small concealer like on the side i'll put it somewhere up here or insert it now somewhere so that you know exactly what i'm talking about like back in the day they used to, they used to have that and and i used to love it because it used to make it so easy for me back in the day like apply just that and get out of the house so they think this is a one step um compact powder it glides on creamy with a finish like powder light um this compact powder delivers a skin that's smooth even toned and naturally and utterly gorgeous um so that's basically how they describe it on their website um let's talk about the few details about this compact uh it's light coverage flawless demi matte finish cream to powder compact makeup it melts into your skin for a soft natural finish it is very weightless feel if skin could breathe it would joyfully <laughs> deep deep breathing while wearing this foundation so it's oil free irritant free and won't clog your pores it is available in eight shades according to the website but i feel like i saw someone else say something about 10 shades so i can't really remember who exactly it is but i feel like this is an african influencer that i actually saw who's something like about 10 shades something like that but on the website it says eight shades so yeah um how do you use it i need to know i just so i can give you guys all the details and not do my, my own thing so i'm giving exactly what they say you should use it or how Revlon say you should use it it's um smooth the formula over your skin with short strokes using our foundation brushes which helps you blend the cream around you, the edges of your nose eyes and along the hairline for even coverage i do not have their brushes but i do have foundation brushes i'll show you in a minute all right and then for a slightly more sheer look try our dual sided applicator which both spreads your foundation and then buffs skin to perfection i bought two shades one is in caramel and one is in mahogany because as you when you once you see it this is literally what they look like and it looks like mahogany fits me in immediately because mahogany is anyway my shade in the revlon brand of makeups i mean of foundations if, if, if anything happens or push come to shove i doubt like that uh, mahogany is my one all the time like all of the ones that i have of revlon foundation wise they're all mahogany but i took caramel because in the shop and uh, it looks like it could be and some looks like it could be a little bit dark so anyway the, the point is it's compact it comes like that that's the foundation then it comes with a small mirror here and then this is your the dual sided applicator i love this type of applicators for like applying powder and blotting throughout the day so i always keep this type of applicators um anyway with me um yeah so this is in the sense that it's a one-step makeup that it is already mixed with a primer and it does go cream to powder so you don't have to set it um according to their thing it does not say that you must apply primer it does not say that it doesn't even say anything else after the fact that you must just smooth this all over your face all right um from other compact powders that i've seen you technically they are found they are cream to powder foundations also come with them with a like a slight um uh primer within them they will tell you like it's a primer foundation powder they will tell you that so which means it's one step if you need to i guess fix uh, a bit issues on your skin you will have to do it before you put this on because it's one step so that you don't put anything else because it will dry it's supposed to like um go from the cream to dries to like a powder thing um on your consistency on your face so make sure that you do use a 
um or if you're gonna yeah but then who my train of thought is like all over the place make sure that you did um conceal if you need to conceal before you put this on so you conceal and then you put the foundation on top and then you because it gives you the powder finish i don't think you must do this any other way it's also good for people who want to get out of the house very quickly uh my sister is one of those people she loves the cream to powder foundations uh yeah my, my issue with this off the bed before we start using it is already the fact that this is for the amount that they give you this small situation here is 225 my revlon the new revlon uh, full cover foundation was 198 and for the amount that they give you in that foundation i'll put it here is more than they give you in this thing even though it's one step At the end of the day might as well buy that one and get powders and, and send, send, spend the same amount of money for all of that and then just buy this by itself you know what i mean like I just feel like it's too small for 225 even though I got it on sale um, at Foshini for 90 bucks. They're on sale. Anyway. So, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to make sure and then I'll put it here or in the description box if I'm not mistaken about how much I bought it when it was on sale. Anyway, so let's get into this one. Um, I have two foundation brushes here. These are my foundation brushes. I suggest that when you do when you are using cream foundations you have your foundation use foundation brushes they are better at blending out like they're saying the the foundation or a good buffing brush foundations like cream foundations and then just have a nice um, applicator brush to you know to take from the applicate from the thingy key and apply it to your face and then you blend out with then the foundation brushes okay i know they don't say anything about um prime or do not prime but i'm gonna prime and i'm not gonna use a matte primer or anything i'm just using the revlon prime plus brightening um skin tone evening skin tone so you've seen me use this before so i'm just going to use just a little bit of that and just apply it all over my face so like i said i took the caramel and i'm just gonna oh i should have done this before i apply it my concealer but i'm going to just swatch it a little bit this is the caramel and see whether it suits me or not uh caramel's undertone is different it's a bit too light it's a bit lighter and then this is the mahogany Morgan's and it also looks slightly, I don't know, not what I'm used to when it comes to mahogany shades, but I think it's the best one out of the two to work. Yeah, I'm not even gonna wipe off that one, I'm just gonna leave it on now. So let's pretend that we need to conceal a few areas. Um, if you wanna conceal, this will be the better for you to conceal. So I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do my freckles on my nose and conceal those I'm going to use the foundation brush to just go in and then um, blend out the concealer a little bit I also just blend out all these ones that are already here on the side just remove that a little bit let's pretend that's also part of us concealing okay right now we've concealed now i'm gonna do mahogany on the outer and then try and do caramel here in the center it's because i want a little bit of a highlight I'm only going to put like one or two swipes here under the eye because I am slightly lighter there in that area. I'm going to spray my foundation brush 
with setting spray and the setting spray I'm going to use is from Essence um, into the snow glow set and glow fixing spray I just think it will make it easy for me to move the product you know so here we go I'm digging through the glove box I thought I had a map in here the driver's door doesn't lock I bought the car my junior year there's candy in my backpack and you can pick our soundtrack we're heading for the East Coast tonight So pack your bags and hold on tight Cause we're taking off Pack up here Drag you in Pack up here In Drag you up Pack here In Get in Back to coast and Hold back there in Run away with me We're on the way to New York City Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So and say hello to New York City. So there we are. I like the way that it sets. I'm glad that I actually wet my foundation brush. I like the... I think it looks not so bad, eh? It doesn't look so bad. Not even like... So this is cool. So this is buildable so if you want to get more full coverage then you can go in but i think this foundation is literally for like everyday wear and you would have to like um yeah not do so much because the idea is that you use it for when you go to work you don't want to use to put too much you just want to light it like put light makeup on I don't even need to put any eyeshadow on because I feel like that's basically the kind of look that you're going for with, with this foundation. And so that's the idea. I guess now would be if you want to put go in and do a little bit more, but I like the way that it looks now. You don't even have to set it at all. If you feel like you don't have enough coverage, like I said, you can go in with the areas. I'm gonna go in with caramel just to show you so that you can do like under the eye if you feel like you didn't get enough coverage to cover like dark spots and stuff that's why concealing under the eye I mean concealing before you put foundation on is like the best thing because then you don't you have to do this step because you would have done it already underneath the foundation so yeah that would be that on a normal basis you would have done already like what you go in do your foundation you do your concealer you set your concealer and then you come and set your entire face so that those are the routines that you have already taken out with this foundation you know and it doesn't really say how long it takes for it to turn into powder immediately so if you do want to go in and blush now now would be the time because you're technically done so let's go and blush and highlight but this would be so nice if you like a liquid blush while it's nice and wet and you go in i don't have a liquid blush so i'm gonna go with my, my powder one i'm gonna use the one from essence the blush and highlighter palette so that's going to work right I like to use a nice blending brush for this process no <laughs> I use a nice angle brush for the blush so you like the blush sometimes I can be very heavy handed don't be heavy handed like me the normal 8 to 5 doesn't require you to blush so much, you just, you know. That's that, and then you can go in with your highlighter. Ooh. I'm not going to use this highlighters because they're way too bright for me but on a normal day you would use the palette that you would use for bronzer or like me or the palette for, for blush like this one and just do my 
is used that is eyeshadow that's basically what I would do I like to use a bronzer more than I use or highlighter more than I use a blush but let's just go with it let's say this is all I have and I like to put a little bit of makeup on and I'm going to go in with my bronzer the bronzer is from wet and wild but I like to use it as a highlighter more than anything I always wear highlighter even in this time of COVID guys under my mask I have an highlighter on because my mask doesn't come this high so I like to have a highlighter Add a little bit of lipstick and I'm gonna use the um, chocolate because it's everyday wear from Rimmel that's it guys this is literally how easy this would be to use it um, then my skin feels really 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 like it's breathing um, it's just already off the set i already feel like i'm going to blot um i feel like i'm going to blot i think only girls would have a problem with this foundation simply because of the way it already looks on my skin and my skin is dry i think maybe it will work if you put a matte um primer underneath maybe it will go help you but Final thoughts, I like the foundation, I like the way that it looks, I don't have an issue with it at all. So I don't have a problem with the foundations at all, they look very very nice. I think they are buildable, but I'll be very like, um, what is the nice word, what is the word? I would be very careful on layering this because I just feel like the more you put on the weird it's going to look so the idea is that it looks like your skin is that has a flawless demi matte which doesn't go through which doesn't go demi matte not like the matte that i want you know i think i talk about how much i like a matte face in general and i also feel like this can also like go off when you wear your mask so you might have to set it a little bit but other than that, I like it. I can't complain about the finish. I cannot complain because if I'm going somewhere and I really want to get out of the house like this, this will be my thing because I'll just prime. No, nope, sunscreen, prime, put this on, blush, and a little bit of highlighter and get out of the house. For people who don't have the time to like put blush or highlighter, I mean you've seen my face before you can just go on and go out and that's it you've done it you're out of the house like that quick you've eliminated the step of you having to put your your, your concealing and then putting your foundation and then putting a bit more highlight and then setting your highlight and then setting the foundation and applying blush and applying more like oh I meant like concealers and highlighters in the the the, the, the two like darker and light of concealers you know what i mean highlight in that sense and then you want to create a little bit more give yourself a little bit like of highlight you must put that on so you've eliminated a few steps using this foundation but if you have pig if you have hyper pigmentation you would have to conceal like i said before before you put the foundation on make sure that area that part is done and then you're going with the foundation because then you're done that's basically you're done I would anyway for me buy two of these foundations like do the caramel and do this the, the, the um, this area of my face and then put the rest of my face like with the shade that matches me properly because it's the one that pop of highlight so in that sense I, I feel like I will still have to buy two foundations people who don't mind you don't have to because the idea that it makes it look like your skin is just supposed to look like it looks good did you put something on you know like the adult foundation found foundation no foundation look you know that's basically what this is supposed to give you 
my only 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 disappointment with me when it comes to this is the price like i don't get it like for the amount that i'm paying for you get very little um but yeah but for people who are like my sister who like this this is for you i feel like though you're going to feel like you must set your face because it is damn mad so it's not gonna give you all that and i already feel like i don't really wanna like seriously now i wanna blot this area here already maybe you must go in with this one for yep i think maybe like when you've used all your products just go in and maybe do that maybe this will be better or could also be because it's hot here so that's basically that oh but i think in winter i'm going to enjoy it though i think i'm going to enjoy this in winter because of its finish i'm not gonna drag my skin nothing so there you go yeah so maybe going with the dual up dual sided applicator if you if you use the brush when you're done just go in and just make sure everything is nicely pressed because immediately i feel like the shine is going away a little bit and so throughout the day use your dual sided applicator to blot out what you need to blot out if it's moving do that just blot this is a very quick and easy foundation like uh review so yeah that is my review of this revlon very quick and very easy i hope that you've enjoyed it it's the this foundation should be in the clicks the discams Foshini, and all of that the other beauty shop that sell well Foshini clicks and discam you should be able to find them there uh yeah like i said i bought this for 225 no i bought it for 90 bucks and 225 is the price that they usually go for i feel like i bought it and someone made a mistake because <laughs> i mean i i i think i i've seen it and a youtuber two youtubers that i that i follow from sa actually just got this foundation so i feel like maybe someone like made a mistake and so they sold it to me the price that it really wasn't supposed to be sold for at the time but anyway i guess i'm the blessed and lucky one so that's basically it i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and to share the video with your friends